I'm Lieutenant Morgan. Welcome to fire station number one. Here at station one, it's called the big house because we have the most apparatus and personnel assigned. We have the fire chief, the deputy chief of ops, 601, 651, which is our shift commander. We have two engine companies, engine one, engine 51. We have rescue ladder one, and we also have a support rig called air one. It responds to every fire alarm and refills all of our SCBA bottles for us. This is 721. This is our CSL community service liaison. There's one of them on the Oklahoma City Fire Department per shift. Day to day, they help the shift commander with staffing. And more importantly, they respond to every fire alarm. And then if a citizen has an issue with their house and they can't live there anymore, they work with the American Red Cross to find one place to stay. In here, we have 751. This is the EMS officer. Recently, the Oklahoma City Fire Department has partnered with the Oklahoma Blood Institute and adopted a whole blood program. So if there's a traumatic injury in the field and a citizen is in need of blood, 751 will be able to show up on scene and deliver that to them. Our fire department has divided the city up into six different fire districts. Each district has a battalion chief in charge of it. They're in charge of anywhere between five and seven fire stations. This is Command Vehicle 601. Uh, some of the tools that they need to fight fire, we have fire extinguishers, SCBAs, and we've recently acquired these Photokite drones, which are on a 150 foot tether. So they can go 150 feet up in the air and take an aerial view of the fire scene and it also has thermal capabilities to show us the hottest parts of the building where firefighters may need to go. They also have some water cans, hand tools, and a command board for the driver of 601 to be able to set up, establish, and run the command of the fire scene. So we as firefighters like to take care of the stuff that the citizens have entrusted us with. So whenever the rigs are dirty, like they are today, uh, we've had rainstorms the past four or five days, so they're a little unkempt, but we come in here to get everything we need to to wash the rigs and keep them shiny and clean. With three shifts and over 60 firefighters assigned, we need very large areas to store our bunker gear. This is one of four bunker gear zones that we have here. Uh, we have three different color lockers for three shifts that we have, and this is where off-duty firefighters store all their bunker gear. So now we're gonna go into the living quarters of Fire Station 1. As soon as we come in, the first thing you notice is this glass door. That's the unique thing about station one. On the other side of that door is our administration. So everybody on fire admin has offices on that side of the hall. So over here is our shift commander's office. The shift commander is in charge of the daily operations for each shift. There's three of them assigned, one per shift. They have a command board so they can see all of the incidents currently working on the Oklahoma City Fire Department and they handle any staffing needs throughout the day. Over here is our watch office. Firefighters hang out in here. Uh, they have computers to complete incident reports whenever they're needed, and they'll enter into our log books. Anytime a rig goes out to make a ride, they have to be logged out and logged back in. This is our station board. Each shift has their own uh, board with the names of everybody assigned here. So all the firefighters come in every day and check the board, which is usually set by the station officer, to see what ride, what rig they are gonna be on and who is off for the day. Moving up to the second floor, we have a large map here that shows the entirety of Oklahoma City. Uh, we're a very large city. We have 621 square miles, which is covered by six fire districts and 38 fire stations. Right here, we have the office of Battalion Chief 601. In here, there's a couple different computer setups, one for the Battalion Chief and one for the Battalion Chief's driver. This is where they handle any staffing needs for the district. And it, this is our house, just like anywhere else. Whenever we're here, we're here for 24 hours at a time. So the chief has a bedroom of his own, and in there there's a restroom and a shower. And moving up to the third floor, this is where we really hang out and spend a lot of our time, uh, because like we stated in the battalion chief's office, we live here for 24 hours at a time. This is the kitchen table. This is where we share all of our meals together. And over here on the wall, we have another board that shows all of the incidents going on. Um, but this is also a smart board that has internet capabilities. So we can sit down and do training together and we can debrief after incidents and take care of all of that.
So you can imagine cooking for 16 to 20 people is quite a task. So we have a pretty large kitchen. We have two stoves, a couple of ovens, um, a big freezer, a really big refrigerator. And over here we've got a griddle top and this is where a lot of hard work goes in to make some people happy. In here, this is the station officer's office. The station officer is the highest ranking major at the station. They're in charge of station number one. Each of the 38 fire stations in Oklahoma City has a station officer, uh, and this is ours. And if we come through these doors, this is one of two workout areas that we have at station one. We have a Jacob's Ladder over here, and we have some treadmills, ellipticals, a rower. Uh, this is where the firefighters come to get their cardio in for the day. If we come through this door, this is where the living quarters really come into play. Uh, this used to be one gigantic bedroom here at Station One, and through some studies that our, our administration and fire chief have done, have showed that a lot of firefighter injuries come from lack of sleep. So they've modified this to incorporate bedrooms per apparatus. So every door to all of these bedrooms are soundproof. In here, this is the bedroom for engine 51. There's four beds, one for each firefighter assigned. And in here, part of that sleep study, we have a unit control. So you're able to come in and highlight which rig you're on. So now the lights will only kick on when engine 51 catches a ride. Ladder one and engine one won't get woken up if we make something tonight. So when you make it out into the hallway, on the left we have the different locker rooms. This is a female's locker room. This is the male's locker room. And one of the coolest things about Station One, we're the only multi-level station in Oklahoma City. So if you ever get to visit and you see one of these logos, behind this is all of our fire poles. Uh, they're staged throughout the station accordingly so that we can uh, make a quick exit downstairs whenever we catch a ride. Through here is our other workout room. This is the weight room. Uh, this is where firefighters spend time picking up heavy things and putting them back down, getting, getting strong so that we can do our jobs. So if you come through these doors, this is what you and your house would call your living room. We call it the day room here on the Oklahoma City Fire Department. Um, after business hours, this is where firefighters get together and hang out and watch movies and spend time together. In this closet right here, it's some storage but it's pretty cool storage for us. So if you live within the city of Oklahoma City limits and you are in need of a smoke detector, you can call 316-2337 or 316-BEEP and we will come out to your place and install one of these smoke detectors free of charge. So we make our way through the day room. We can go up these exterior stairs and this will be the second part of our kitchen. Up here is where we do Outside cooking, we've got a grill and a smoker that we do whenever we cook dinner. And one of my favorite parts about Station One, only a few steps away from our outdoor cooking area, we have one of the best views of downtown Oklahoma City. So here at Station One, we like to get our cardio in and work out together, but also a fun team building. Uh, we play a lot of volleyball together. I know it doesn't look very pretty right now. Unfortunately, it's a rainy day. We usually take pretty good care of it and keep it Keep it nice and smooth and we play a lot of volleyball here. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the big house, getting an inside look of where we work, where we live, and how we handle things as a fire department. Stay tuned for our next tour.